All right, seventh grade, to begin carving your stamp, what you're going to need is you're gonna to have to make sure that you have a glove on your non-dominant hand, that you are working on a bench hook, okay, and that you're only making surface level cuts into your rubber, okay? So um, you wanna make sure that you're holding your carving tool uh, like this, okay, kind of in the palm of your hand with your index finger on top, okay, thumb and middle finger on either side so you can carve away from yourself, okay, uh, horizontally just like the rubber. We're not sticking this tool into the rubber, making a hole, that's not the goal, okay? So the goal is just to create marks in the surface of the rubber, okay? Now the first thing you all are going to do with your stamp, and I did this already in Sharpie, you can do this in pen, but I made the width of my lines for my image a little bit thicker. Okay, so you can see how particularly in this area, I widened the black line. That's gonna be something that you want to do. That way, if you make you know an accidental mark or whatever, you accidentally cut too much, you've got a little bit of a border, okay? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to locate a number two tool, okay? So with your tools, just a really quick reminder, uh, on the back, Right here, there is a number. This one says two. Okay, I'm also gonna try and color code the handles for yourself, for you, for you all. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carve on either side of my black line. Okay, so I am going to, again, hold my tool in the palm of my hand, my index fingers here. And I'm gonna carve slightly outside of the black line. Now you'll notice that I am turning the rubber as I am carving or making a cut and then turning the rubber. The goal with that is to always be carving away from yourself. Okay, so if I come around to correct you, it is not personal. Just wanna make sure that I keep everybody safe. Okay, so I'm carving this line, okay, on the outside of my black line all the way around. Okay, now I'm also gonna do the same thing on the inside of this black line, okay? So I'm gonna use that two tool again. All right, and carve on the inside of that black line. So the goal is to preserve anything that is black, okay? And we are going to carve away anything that is white. Okay, so the reason why I like to carve a line on either side of my black line to begin with is because I like to be more free with the larger handled tools, okay, the larger bladed tools. So I've done that on the inside. Let's pretend I did the outside here, okay. Now this is a fairly large space and also this is a fairly large space. Okay, so I am going to use my four blade. Okay, this is the biggest one I have out for you all right now. Remember, it is that flat bottom U shape, okay? And because this is a larger area here, and this is also a larger area here, what I'm going to do is I am going to hold my tool and I'm gonna choose a direction and I'm going to overlap my strokes. Okay. So I just did a line there in the surface. I'm gonna do another line here that overlaps it, okay? And it's going to start to take sections of that rubber away. I don't have to carve very deep with it, okay? But I do wanna make sure that I have really nice even lines. What most likely will happen, okay, is that some of the ink, when you go to roll your brayer over your stamp, okay, in order to print it, is that some of those lines will actually print, okay? So you always wanna keep, okay, your background, larger spanses of area, all within the same direction as much as possible, okay? Same thing with the cloud in here, okay? Now that I have that little, um, my bumper on either side, okay? So see how I have that line on the inside of my black line, the line on the outside? I am going to take my larger tool, again, this is my four, okay, and I'm gonna create Overlapping strokes. To carve away this area. Okay. Just 
just like so, All right? Um, if I had a smaller area in here, I could downgrade to, you know, a, a three or even a one tool, depending. All right, so those tools are great for different things, okay? But we wanna make sure that you're using, okay, the larger tool, okay, particularly like the four tool for larger background areas, okay? So step one is to carve on either side of your black line, make that black line a little bit thicker, Carve on either side of that black line, probably with a two blade, okay? And then begin to take away larger sections with a larger blade. And remember, just keep those cuts to surface level, keep them in the same direction.